In this video, I am going to show you how to download and install mods for Minecraft Java version 1.21.10. So, let's get started. To begin, simply go to your web browser, and I will have links in the description if you need them. But here, just go to your search bar and search up mod rinf, like so. Now enter, and here you'll find modrinf.com, click on modrinf, and then you will be on the modern homepage. From there, simply go to the Discover Content tab on the top of the website, then go to Mods. Now the first thing you have to do here is filter by game version and choose 1.21.10. And this is all the mods that are updated for this version for now. So every day there's more and more mods as this version just came out a few hours ago, but for now, this is the list that you have. So yeah, there's quite a few. So let's say that we want physics mod, okay? So here, if you want physics mod, for example, simply click on the mod's name, and this will bring you to this page. Now, what you have to do is just go to versions, and then you will find that we have a couple versions. If we filter by game version again, so 1.21.10, you will find that we have quite a few releases and also quite a few platforms. So let's begin by explaining what are these platforms here. So number one, you will notice that we have Fabric and Quilt together as these are quite closely related to one another. So this is why you will see them together in most cases. But here we have Forge and Neoforge. So this is a modern fork of Forge. And what this means is that Regardless of what version you want, here you will have to learn how to get the platforms. So let's say that we want the one with Forge. Well, how do you get Forge? Well, you get Forge by going to a new tab and by going to your search bar. I will have the link in the description, but you simply have to click Forge Minecraft like so and just enter. Here you'll find a website called filesminecraftforge.net. Simply click on the link and here you, you will find that we have the version 1.20.10 selected by default. And what you have to do here is click the installer here, all you show all versions, and all the versions get, you will find other Forge versions that might work with specific mods. So if a mod doesn't work for this, you might have to download the specific installer for the specific Forge version. So that is the first thing you have to do. Here we have NeoForge. What is NeoForge? Well, it's basically the same idea. You go to a new tab, you go to your search bar, and you search up Neo Forge, like so. Here you enter, here you'll find a website called neoforged.net. Simply click on NeoForge, and we'll have the installer configuration here. We here we basically have Minecraft version 1.20.10, and if you wanted, you just click here to download the installer. And for fabric and quilt, well, what we'll do here is start by Quilt. Quilt is called Quilt MC. So it is Quilt MC, like so. Enter that in. You'll find a website called QuiltMC.org. Click on the link. And it's a bit different here. You will have to go to Install here. Then you have to go to Client. And here you can choose with a jar or an exe. This exe here will tell you that it is not verified. That's why I like using the jar a lot. Okay? So that is what you can do with that. And fabric. Well, it is the most popular one in this case. So it is fabric Minecraft, like so. You enter, you find fabricmc.net, you click on fabric, and here you will have to go to the blue download button. And this is the download link for Windows, and this is the download link for other platforms. So yeah, if we go back to physics mod here, we will use Fabric for today's tutorial. So how does that work? Well, you go to the green download button, and you click it. So now you're downloading physics mod, for example. This is the same thing for any other mod, except that some mods might have dependencies. Now this mod is special for one reason, but most mods if you click on the version name, it is going to say here, dependencies. There's going to be a little box called dependencies, and you have to go ahead and click the mods. This one has dependency. It's called Fabric API. 
although it is not written Fabric API. So if you ever have an issue with Fabric mods, this is mainly the actual issue you get is always Fabric API. So how do you fix this? Well, you simply have to go to discover content, mods, and you'll find Fabric API here. This is why it is popular because a lot of people ran into this issue before. So you can either click and search Fabric API here if it doesn't show up, but in most cases, it will be the first thing here. So just click on Fabric API, click on versions, and select game versions and 1.2110. Here you'll find the correct release. Click the green download button, and now you have Fabric API and Physics mod. Now, let me show you what dependencies look like in most cases. If you go to mods, for example, and we go to Ibis shaders, this has a dependency, which is sodium. So if I go on Ibis shaders and search up versions, here I go on fabric and we'll see dependencies. This is the thing you're looking for. In most cases, most mods will have that. So yeah, that is one thing to look for. So anyways, let's say that you found the mod that you want and the dependency. How do you get, well, fabric in this case? Well, you go to the fabric instance here. You go to download for Windows if you're using Windows and you now have fabric. So now you have everything you need to run a mod in Minecraft. So now you can go ahead and close or minimize your web browser. And I'll just close mine, but from there, what you have to do is simply go ahead and go to your file explorer and access your downloads folder. Here, what you want to do is go to fabric installer here and you want to double click it. And then it is going to show up with this. For the Minecraft version, make sure it is correct. And if it is, click install. Then OK. Then close. Now what you want to do is go to the Minecraft launcher. With the Minecraft launcher here, you will be able to go ahead and add the mod to the mods folder. Now there is one thing here, is that if you're using anything else but Fabric Loader, you will have to create the mods folder. So if we go to installations here on the top, then hover over Fabric for example and go to the folder icon, this will just bring you to the main.minecraft folder, but this is the mods folder. If you don't have one, create one with this exact name here. So yeah, that is one thing you might have to do if you can't. You simply go ahead and just like right click new and click on folder if you actually have to make a folder. Okay, so here simply double click the mods folder if you have one. And here what you have to do is simply go ahead and go to downloads, select the dependencies and mod and copy. Then go to the top left arrow to go back to the previous folder and click paste. Now you have copy pasted Fabric API and Physics mod in Dark Minecraft mods. Here you can have as many mods as you want, you can have mod pack if you want, it can be anything, this is just an example. And if you go back to the Minecraft launcher, then play, then Fabric Loader here, you'll just be able to just click play. And now Minecraft is going to open up automatically. So yeah, you might have a pop-up that shows up, like just click play anyways. But yeah, in most cases, you will be able to easily get Minecraft to open up like this. And then we can go ahead and check out what we have. Here we have physics mod. This means if we go to options and we go to physics settings, here we'll be able to actually mess around with stuff. So if we go back to like single player, for example, as this is a client side mod, we'll be able to go ahead and go, I'll create a new world in this specific case. But yeah. This is kind of how we get mods for Minecraft and once we're gonna actually load up into the world we'll be able to see that we do have physics mod enabled. As you can see I just broke the tree and can interact with the tree in a very not Minecraft like way. So yeah that is kind of how we get mods for Minecraft Java. There is one thing that I have to note that if you can't run the installers for the mod loaders, this is maybe because you might need to get Java for Windows. I will have links in the description that will let you go ahead and download Java for Windows so you can run jar files aka jar installers. But overall, that is yeah how we get mods for Minecraft Java 1.21.10. So if you liked today's video, make sure to like and subscribe and see you for the next one. Bye!